work. But that's what Dr. Smith is setting up. While he's doing that, Done. one of our one of our main devices here looks like this, and I'm sure you're all going to recognize it. Although you may recognize that there's a major difference between this one, other than the fact that it's destroyed, and and what you typically see in this play store. What is it? It, 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 yeah, it's about it's about three slinkies that you would buy. So it doesn't roll down steps very well at all. Ah, and um, <laughs> also your lap well. Yeah, and, uh, and and of course we uh, we intentionally. Are you guys going to need to move a bit there? Can we tangle it up already? What? Of course we are. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, that's better. Move back, Nick. Move back a little bit. All right, down. You brought those sheets out with you. They have some questions on them. What are the first several questions that we want to be looking at? Does the shape of a pulse traveling along an elastic medium? Why elastic? It's spray, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. First of all, what's a pulse? A single what? Well, it's a single disturbance, right? Is that a single disturbance? Yeah. Okay, is... My turn. Okay. <laughs> is this a disturbance? Yeah. That was a disturbance too, wasn't it? So we have, we have actually... We have... Big Bird's having a great time today. <laughs> We actually have all sorts of disturbances that we can make, okay? Um, let's talk about the nature of the disturbance. When we do this, what's going on? What's the, what is the nature of the disturbance? Do I, have, do I have to displace the medium at all? A little bit. Once I let it go, what happens? It stretches back and that displacement does what? It moves along, okay? What's the direction of the displacement that I make initially? Uh, yeah, but describe it in terms of the medium itself. Is it is it along the medium? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What might we call that kind of disturbance? Linear? Well, linear is not bad. <laughs> How about a word that sounds like long, like long. longitudinal? Longitudinal. It's a longitudinal wave, okay? Well, they weren't going to figure it out. I, well, we didn't get that on the medium all the time. Who would guess longitudinal? You did. Okay. Any guess? I knew it. How else could we disturb the medium? Latitude. Yeah, well, latitude is yes, yeah. We, we could disturb it perpendicular to its, um, its length. That's typically called the transverse direction. Okay? And Dr. Smith just made one transverse pulse and then another. And we call those transverse pulses or transverse waves. Okay? So we have longitudinal waves and transverse waves. And right now, actually wave is not quite correct. Uh, wave typically refers to something that's periodic. And a single wave is more appropriately called a pulse. All right. Now, let's go back and address those first couple of questions. Somebody remind us before that. It's the shape change. What's the second? Speed. The speed of the shape change. Do you think you can watch for shape and speed at the same time? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it's it's tricky. Tricky. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, <laughs> All right. There you go. There's one. Now, it's very difficult to tell when it goes back and forth, back and forth. Imagine, if you will, that we could stretch this spring out. We had it long enough that we could stretch about the entire length of the hall. If we watched it go all the way down there, what do you think would, the speed would be at the end and the beginning? Same. Pretty much, it looks, it appears that way, doesn't it? French. Let me make my turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, something something happens at the end. But let's not worry about that now. You're absolutely right. Dude. So the, sh the, the speed seems to be the same. Shape might be a little bit more difficult, but now look at it, okay? It's reversed. Yeah, it's the same it, it reverses on each reflection. Don't worry about that. What about the basic shape? It stays the same. It does seem to be decreasing. Why? Uh, the amplitude meaning what, Amanda? Um, the, the size of the surface is decreasing as it loses energy of friction. Okay. 
somebody tell you the answer in advance? No, I just know it. Oh, okay. When so, she what did she say? Good for you. Good for you. Um, so yeah, there's there's friction here. We can't eliminate that, can we? If we could eliminate the friction somehow, what do you suspect would be true about the the amplitude of the surface? Yeah, pretty much the same. Okay. So there's there's speed and amplitude. What are the next couple of questions that we have to address? Tension. Oh, I'm sorry. What about longitudinal pulses? Do they seem to change? No. Oh. Go ahead. That's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. But at least speed. What about the speed? <laughs> Speed seems to be the same. It's really, it really is hard to tell a lot of things to want to do All right, next couple of questions. What are they? Tension. Speed and speed are propagation depends on the size of the pulse. What does propagation mean? Propagation, propagation needs to move. So it's the speed of motion, which is kind of a, uh, what do they call that? We need two words to say the same thing, the speed of motion. It's redundant. It's redundant, yeah. So the speed of propagation is just the speed. <coughs> does, it, does it depend on the amplitude? Is that the question? Dr. Smith, take over here. Huh? Speed uh, does the speed depend on the amplitude? I think is your question. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. So I can do, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I can do a big wave and a small wave. That's why Mr. Rose wanted me to take over. He can look at one size wave. <laughs> so, here's, here's, yeah, that's a running joke. All right, uh, here's, big fallow, here's big followed by small, and you can see whether the small catches up with the big, or whether the big decreases the speed on the small, or whatever. So I'm going to try it again. Big, small. That might be easier to let it out of it. Yeah, well, oh, well, you're going to give something. But do you know where Dr. McDowell is? Uh, no. Big, small. small. You might want to. Uh, I can no. walk it. Actually, oh, right. Right. Let's try uh, small. Small, 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 <laughs> how about, how about, big, small? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I can do it. Can be small. Pretty much. We need to proceed. We need to select some isolation of what you're observing. By the way, guys. It's, it's got to be a little more than yes and no, by the way. Because if I see a yes and a no there, and can't. And Nick, are you writing anything? <laughs> Folks club, let's turkey. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, you're writing nice words, I'm sure all of you are, but what have we been looking at here? Has anybody bothered to make a sketch of what they've seen? Yes. Uh, I, I drew a slinky. You, you drew a slinky. Yeah. How did you indicate a pulse on the slinky grill? You didn't. How, well, look, look, at it, look at it now. How might you do it if you made a sketch? You could, oh, I know. Well, so do I. <laughs> I. I might draw a line for the slinky and then a little hump to show the wave. And then the arrow next to the hump. That's He's a very clever guy. Which side of the slinky it's on, too. Yeah. Just the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, what? Oh, my. Your turn. Oh, uh, fine. What, what's the. Uh, Does the tension <laughs> in the medium affect the speed of the fault? Tension in the medium affects the speed of the pulse. Uh, wow, how could we change the tension in the medium? We stretch the choke the We can stretch it more. Is that going to change anything else? Distance between clothes. Oh, I heard yeah. something over there. He said distance between clothes. I heard it here. Um. <laughs> 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 you yeah, yeah, distance between coils, too. Um, well, see that next question after the one about tension? Master, you don't like the same. So, answering two of Well, we want to know just, just changing tension change the speed, and also we want to know just changing the mastery of length change the speed. Now, if I gather more of these up, does that change the tension? Scoop that like five feet. Yeah. Is that changing the mass too? Yeah. 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 So what? So now, look, we can you know we we can make waves here, but we just 
we've just increased the tension, but we've also decreased, decreased. decreased yeah. And what happened? Is that faster or slower? Faster. faster. I think so, yes. Yeah, I think it's faster. But now, if we try to decrease the tension, what's going to happen? Decrease. We're going to increase the mass. Oh, so you want to decrease the tension? Let's decrease the tension. Let's decrease the tension. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. We've just decreased the tension, but what have we done? Increased, increased the mass. What happened? So, uh, uh, well, if I scoot five feet back, what have I done, Keenan? But the same mass is also there. Well, I increased the length, and what else what else did I do? I the same amount of slinky out there. So, no, that doesn't help. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, uh, did you hear that, everybody? What? Amanda just said I could use a different kind of medium. Uh, or medium. No. No. <laughs> really? Well, in fact, in fact, that's a good suggestion, but in fact, it's a suggestion that we're not going to, that we will pursue, that we're going to pursue it a little bit later. So for right now, for right now, can you really come up with a good answer to either of those two questions? No. We made some observations, but they're, they're sort of mixed at this point, aren't they? What's next? I don't know what's next. Who's that in here? What happens with reflection? Oh. What happens with a pulse currently in one dimension? Do you want to be the pulser or the reflector? Why don't you pulse? I'll pulse? Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's a good thing in my age, I'm still pulsing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. I gotta make the halt here. And when it goes down and it reaches Dr. Smith, he's going to keep his hands very, very still. And it's gonna be, it's gonna come back. We want to look at the nature of the pulse that comes back. So here we go. And just look at the very first thing. Which side did you start on? I started on my right, which would be your left. Which would be the cafeteria side. Cafeteria side. Cafeteria side. So I'm starting on the cafeteria side. Coming back on the oh, gym side. Gym side, yes. What happens to it at a fixed end? It flips. Yeah. Some people say it comes it comes back upside down. Some people say it is inverted. Big word. <laughs> so apparently, a pulse reflected from a fixed end is reflected upside down or inverted. Let's see it. Let's do it again. And one more time for those of you like Nick who aren't writing. It's got a good two sentences down there. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, is there any other thing that our reflector could do down there? He could Put move his hands when be thick. He could move his hands when the wave gets there. I'm sorry, I'm not sure he's that quick. Oh. <laughs> What could he do to make that end free to move? Let go. Well, if he let go, what would happen? Hold the end of the string. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but but what about what about the nature of that medium compared to the spring? It's different. It, it's really really it has very little mass for you in length, doesn't it? Yeah. So in many ways, it's like it's not there. Okay. It's a physics string. Yeah, it's a physics string. It's not there. All it's doing is maintaining tension. That's right. So let's see what happens. That's not bad. You may want to stand up to see it. This is not perfect. But how is the reflected pulse coming back? The same, same side or off? Same side. Same side. Same side. Same side. What? Stand up and look over my shoulder. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's smaller, but it does come back on the, on the same side. So, why does it come back at all? Yeah. Well, that's actually an interesting question. I don't know the answer. Do it again? Because it's magic. Yeah, if you look very, very closely, thank you, that's, that's good. The string actually does behave like a medium. It's one that is very nearly not there. But what happens is this. I'm putting energy into this spray here. Okay? It's traveling down there. 
When it reaches the boundary, some of the energy is reflected to some, and comes back. Some of it continues along the string to Dr. Smith, and there's another reflection. Things start to happen very quickly, and it's hard to see everything that's going on. All we really are looking for right now is when the end of the slinky is free to move. And we want to look at whether that reflected pulse comes back upright or upside down. And it appears to come back upright. If that end is free to move. Okay? And you call that an uninverse, right? Right? right. Uninverted? Uh, yeah. No. Or non inverse. Or upright. Or upright. Or upright, yeah. Or upright. Totally monetary, though, yeah. Okay. Moving right along, come on, just keep it up with things. What happens when two poles are struggling for one another meet? Uh, I'm glad we have people with nice loud voices here because it's been very simple. It's like, okay. Are we gonna, are you going to take that screen off? Well, we put another one. Well, that's what I was thinking, actually. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we want to send pulses towards the test? Yeah, why not? What what sides are they going to be on? Uh, what, well, what are you more comfortable with? Masters of the experiments tell us what to do with our pulses. Same side and then off. Same side? Same side? Yeah. Same side. Same side. Which side? Um, yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Pick, pick a side. Where are you going? Yeah. My left. Right. So you're going to the cafeteria? Uh, yeah. I don't get this. How does that help? Oh, left. Oh, 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 I think we're getting some some uh, mixed observations, or at least some mixed answers. Three, two, one, go. All right. Power. So what's going on here, guys? They just keep going. Like, How many people? Say, some people are saying they say they keep going. They're going through one another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Any other opinion? Either that or you need to switch. Reflect you're walking. Either that or the two ways bounce and reflect. Well, yeah. So we do have a couple of alternatives here, don't we? Any suggestions about how to... Uh... Oh, we're back to big wave, little wave. Big wave, little wave. Oh, right. So That's what that... What's your name? That's what Keisha suggested. Acacia. Acacia. So, K or A? A, A, C, A. All right. Um, where were we? Right. Big, big and small. Wait. Big and small. You want to be big or small? No, you take it. Uh, you know I'll, what I'm going to I'll be big. You're going to be big. All right. Three, two, one, now. I make a little bit, you make a big. Three, two, one, now. Yeah, they're, going through. they're going through each other. The little wave ended up on the other side of the big wave. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. We could have done something else as well. What else could we have done? Go the opposite direction. Oh, opposite side. Oh. I'll go. I'll go right. <laughs> You're right or my right? Why don't you both go right? I'm going to my left. <laughs> Your left. All right. I'll go my left then. Okay. Wait, we're both going. We're both going left. Right. Three, two, one, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, now. There's one really interesting point out there. Three, two, one, now. Yeah, if we do the same. Yeah, if they're close to the same amplitude, they're close. Three, two, one, now. Anybody see the point that I'm talking about? They're middle. They're middle. Like a middle. Doesn't seem. Of course, that's only true exactly of what. Yeah, if we have waves that are symmetric, right? Yeah. Keep going off the side. But if we were to do that. There's one point out there where, as the waves pass through that one another, they just wouldn't move at all. Yeah. They cancel each other out. They cancel each other out. Is there another question coming up here? How does the maximum transverse displacement between displacement of the medium compare with the amplitude of the distance between the medium? I'm like, yeah, he's going to be awesome. Whoa. I think I should take a test of that. Down. I was just teasing. So I should take a test of that. Keenan. 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 Keenan.
right, let's see if we get it done. Let's see if we can both make pulses about that big. Well, about this big. About that big, yeah. Right. And then, and then what's going to happen with those two pulses? These. They'll cancel. They'll both make them on the same side. Same side, yeah. Maybe they will get one. Maybe they will. Maybe he'll be right. Maybe. Sorry. Well, let's try. Three, two, one, now. Three, two, one, now. They're on the same side. They're on the same side. What were they doing? Three, two, one, now. They added up. They added up, yeah. If you look, if you can see this, this boundary of the tiles that goes down there, we're not shaking. This, we're not, the individual amplitudes of our pulses aren't nearly big enough to get them out of that boundary. But when they interact, they are. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and the waves are bouncing back from him and coming back towards me. And so you get the waves going in opposite directions. And you can imagine, at one point, they got the same wavelength, right? You can imagine at one point in time, the peak of the wave going in one direction is lined up with the peak going the other direction, and they add up to make a bigger peak. And the troughs are also lined up to make a bigger trough. Okay, so you can see that. And then a bit later in time, you've got the trough of one wave over the peak of a second wave, and they add up to zero. So, and you'll see that happen if I send some fast periodic waves down there. Once they start reflecting, you'll see the, the standing wave pattern appear there at the end for just a second. They have sound like four or five. They have very quick. Well, you'll see it for just a second, the standing wave pattern will start. See it? See how it just starts up? So you can actually see it begin as those two sets of traveling waves begin to travel through one another. Once it's established, you really can't tell anymore, can you? So you see a little wiggle when they, they impact that standing wave form, of course, that's what Woo! Good one! <laughs> and that's okay. It's really hard to keep the frequency constant. Yeah. There, so you get, the, you get the sort of... But uh, music, music does this a lot. <laughs> music does this a lot. As a matter of fact, that is music. <laughs> music of the spring. Music of the spring or music of the spring? Oh, oh gotcha. Sorry. Uh, what's next? Anybody want to see anything more about this? Got you. I want to see those. Next. What's the next? We have the spring. Spring and the sun. Spring of the Slakey. What happens when you want to do the spring of the Slakey? I'll, I'll do the. Uh, do the spring? Okay. Look, it's another medium. What happens at the junction? That was overselling. <laughs> that is, there are nodes. Yeah. The points where it's on. Because of the two uh, waves that are coming out. Okay. Yeah, I just I, I got a, got myself a fistful of coils here. Okay. Woo! Okay, what do we have here, guys? Uh, two, two medium. Two medium. <laughs> Can somebody, somebody describe those mediums to us. One, one is very small. dense and one is not. One is very dense and one is not, which is which? This one's dense. Thank you. Yeah. Get it away. Darn. Yeah, I okay. get <laughs> Anything else going on here? Uh, you will get lead poisoning. It could be. It's aluminum. They're both the same now, so. Yeah. Yellow. So what else, what else do we remember earlier we were talking about density? What else were we talking about? Well, what's going on here? That one's more tense? No. no. Less tense? Yes. 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 So, yes. Actually. What's going on down there? Maybe they both have the same temperature. Come on, somebody give us a well reasoned answer here. So see there's a little there, they should have the same tension because otherwise one would pull the other one more. Say that out loud and say it in that direction so everybody can hear. They should have the same tension because if one has greater tension it would pull the other medium toward it and raise the tension yeah. side. Ooh. You see that point where they're joined is not moving therefore it has no acceleration and no net force so the tensions are equal. So we've now managed to eliminate one of those variables haven't we? Yeah, from that speed equation, haven't we? Let's take a look at speed. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so watch the speed of the pulse when it moves from the spring to the slinky. Oh. So just, just speed for now. Which one was it faster in? It was faster in the less dense, wasn't it? So earlier on, we certainly established that if we increase the tension, though we couldn't say what was going on with density, greater tension, greater speed. Now we know greater density, less speed. Okay, good. What else do we have to look at? Ooh, Dr. Smith, you've got to be real careful with these things. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Did I hit you? I no, no, no. It's just I was holding on. I was holding on to the end, and guess what? Ooh. The yeah. end is a little sharp. Oh, yeah. I have punctured myself, but I will live. Okay. All right. What we go through for our students. She's Mr. Rose goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. Relax. It's, it's, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 What's next? Yeah, I know. What happens when a pulse traveling along one medium comes with jump tail and the second medium safe from a slinky to the heavy coil spring? Oh, so, if we're going from slinky to coil spring, that means I gotta make the pulse. You need to watch the junction down there. There are really two things to watch for. You want to look at the nature of the pulse that continues on to the stage frame. You also want to look at the nature of the pulse that is reflected back to me. Rather than try and do both at once, look at the spring. Look at just the transmitted pulse first, okay? So, to be clear, when Mr. Rose's pulse reaches that junction there, some of it's going to transmit through me and some of it's going to be reflected back to him. Look at just the part that's stranded. Just look at the part that keeps coming to me first. You ready? I'll do it several times. Well, you're starting them on the cafeteria side, and they're coming through on the cafeteria side. So it looks like the transmitted pulse stays on the same side. Same side. Now, ignore the transmitted pulse. Just look at the reflected pulse. It's what? Uninverted. Uninverted? It's inverted. Wait. Sorry. Uninverted. Upright means it doesn't change size. Inverted means it changes size. There's no uninverted. That's what I was doing. I'm sorry. So look, which way does it come back on? Does it come back on the same side or the opposite side? I can't tell. Well, stand up and look over my shoulder. You ready? Opposite side. We call that inverted. Now, ladies and gentlemen, think of the densities here. Are we going from more dense to less dense or less dense to more? Less, 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 less dense to more. Less dense to more, the transmitted pulse is up slower and upright. The reflected pulse is faster and faster. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's, still, it's faster in the, in the less dense medium. Okay. All right, now, let's switch directions. Let's go from more dense to less dense. And once again, guys, this is really hard to see, particularly for some of you who are trying to get as far away from the action as you can. Stand up and look down on you. So I heard my jump at once. You weren't going to, were you? All right now, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Smith is going to make a pulse to your right. Sure. All right, he's, he's going to go to his right. Watch just the transmitted pulse, just the pulse that comes down his leg. Like. What about the transmitted pulse? Same side. Now look at the reflected pulse. All right. So look at the pulse. The pulse that reflects from the junction back to me. Same side. No, no, no. Again, look carefully. Same side. Same side. So when we're going, when we're going from more dense to less dense, the transmitted pulse is upright. And the reflected pulse is upright. Notice that the direction of transmission really does make a difference, doesn't it? Okay. Dr. Smith, I think we've done well. We managed to get through seven classes, and we've only ruined about one and a half strings. Wait, Mr. Rose. Yeah. Does the amplitude change? Well, the amplitude changes. Good question. Good question. Well, yeah, now that's an interesting thing, and you really do have to get into energy. Look at look at what's happening there. Um, 
When Dr. Smith sends a pulse on the head, hey guys, when Dr. Smith sends, sends a pulse from the, from the dense spring into the less dense, you get a real high amplitude over here, don't you, in the psyche. But what about the amount of mass that's moving? It's not much, is it, compared to the heavy spring? If we actually, and we're not going to talk about energy too much, if we actually could talk about the energy, it turns out that the total energy in the two springs ideally is conserved. It should also turn out that the amount of transmitted energy going from more dense to less is, well, that should be greater, shouldn't it? Denser to less dense. Should be greater energy transmitted than reflected? Uh, uh, yeah. I think it is, because your amplitude really drops. And this but, if, but if we have the case where your medium is essentially massless and none energy, that's true too. Yeah, all right, so that's a hard that's a harder question for us for me to answer, Lisa. We have to think about it. What? It's non trivial. Total energy though is conserved, okay? That's one thing that we've been able to depend on throughout. Of course, with all this floor stuff around, friction has been influencing our results all the way through the day, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. Um, so we have any other questions? Any other questions? Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Dr. Smith sends the way you say it comes back on the same side? The, the way that goes back to Dr. Smith on his spring goes back on the same side. Right? Yeah. Is this the same way? It's hard to see it down there. No, well, be careful. The very first way that goes back. Watch what reflects from the junction. Walk down there. Okay. Walk down there. And let's stand right over top. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Peter, can you step to your uh, left? Now look, yeah. look, look over. Okay. What? Okay, I'm going to launch one to mine. Watch what comes back. I mean, it's, it's hard to see. So look, hard. just at the heavy spring. Just look just at this spring. You see what reflects there? It comes back. Okay. 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 Now, now, if I do it, look what comes back on my spring. See on the opposite side? Okay. Okay, well look, guys, listen up. Everybody, what does what when a tra when a when a wave is traveling in the slinky, does that heavy spring behave more like a fixed end or more like a free end? It behaves more like a fixed end. So you would expect the reflecting pulse to come back opposite. When Dr. Smith makes a pulse and it travels toward the slinky, does the slinky behave more like a fixed end or more like a free end? It acts more like a free end, so you expect the reflecting pulse to come back. Same. Okay. Look at if I if I do one about this amplitude, look at how much the joint or the junction whips the one side. And now Mr. Rose says one the same amplitude. It shouldn't be nearly as you see that the junction hasn't moved nearly as much. Mr. Rose said the way that day. And I said the way that day. Snaps right over. Yeah. Well, that's more it's, yeah. it's a lot like when if you're going from dense to non-dense. Oh. Okay, nice to here, guys. Ice cream chocolate here? Yeah. Any other repeat requests? Oh, stand up. Uh, Mr. Rose, uh, does, that, does that work in the same way when you have a large mass colliding a small mass person when you have a small mass colliding? Actually, uh, he's asking if there's an analogy to the momentum. Uh, Tom. And I think we could probably make the argument that I don't I don't want to go there right now. That's a tricky question. Yeah. I don't want to go there right now. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so I'll send back to the rooms. <laughs> Hey, why don't you guys uh, take the take the box out? Dr. Smith gets the juice. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll wait. I'm curious to see how that works. Yeah, well, we'll see. Cool.